tradition. Wow. And I had no idea. And so when you think about religion, which has been such a formative force throughout history, with such absolutely negative, scathing views of women being unclean and dirty and you know, can't sit in the same room, can't eat mm. food that they touch. No wonder people still have such right. negative mindsets about women. You know, it's been so ingrained for so many years. How do you get past that? Right. And that's well, why we wrote this book. Now, I, I, uh, we've gotten to the point where we've discussed this issue and, and the cultural aspect of this issue. For folks, I mean, I bet there's a lot of people out there who just, even adults, people even my age, who don't know what a period is. What is it? What happens? What is the physiologic? Ah. What, what the heck is it all about? Every 28 days or so, um, the lining of the uterus. What is a uterus? A uterus. A uterus is the part of a woman's body where a baby can grow. Right, and it's like right around it's here. It's right around here, right in your right. lower abdomen. The center. Abdomen, yeah. The center. There are two ovaries, right. one on either side, and um, they generally switch off every month. An egg is released from an ovary and travels through the fallopian tube mm -hmm. down into the uterus. Mm -hmm. If a sperm meets it along the way at the right time of the journey and it's fertilized, then it stays in the uterus, it plants onto the wall. And the sperm comes from the man, and it comes from intercourse, from sex, and it gets in there, and it reaches the egg and touches it. Right, okay, right. Good. So... Right. If all of those pieces come into place at the right time and an egg is fertilized, then it stays in the uterus, it grows into a baby, and the uterus expands tremendously. Um, and then, you know, a placenta develops and it, it mm. nourishes the baby until right. the baby's born. Um, during most months, if there's not a sperm there to fertilize and start the whole process, the uterine wall that had been building up, in case an egg was fertilized and that would provide the nutrients for it, isn't needed anymore. Mm -hmm. So your body has this whole complicated um, system of hormones and a hormone is set off that says, oh, there's nothing here for us to do. We don't need this lining anymore. When the lining disintegrates and sheds, that's what mm -hmm. menstrual flow is. It's mm -hmm. a combination of the uterine lining of you know, the wall and of blood. So, and it's so, in that way, it's just, uh, it's simple. It's, it's just like uh, a, a, a biological, bi biological biology. bodily Reality. fluids yes. and coming out. It and it, it's not, it doesn't represent anything really except the no. beginning of the new cycle. Exactly. And it, and it shows, you know, if you think about it this way, that a woman's body is healthy and it's working well. Uh -huh. So a period is a good thing. Now, mm -hmm. there's a limited number of eggs, right? The person is born well, with a number like of eggs. Well, there's like fertile years. Millions. When you're born, Mil you have millions of eggs. Uh -huh. By the time that you're, um, you get to a more fertile age and you start menstruating, it's down to several hundred thousand. Uh -huh. But still, there are plenty of eggs in there. Right. You know, as you get older, <laughs> um, they, and they, they don't last all that long. So that's why women in their 40s have more fertility challenges because mm -hmm. the eggs have been along. Right. You're around for a long time, and they're breaking down, and they're not as viable and healthy. I see. Um, so there, are, but there are plenty of eggs okay. for the body to work with. I see how it works, and uh, I don't know any other questions along the lines of like the, the, the biology, biology of it. Uh, so why is it 28 days? Does anybody know why? No. That's it because it, it's in two. The moon with, cycle. The moon cycle, yeah. right? The cycle of the moon, 28 days. There's been a lot. I've read a lot that said that there's some connection there between the moon and menstruation. Is that uh, old wives' tale? Oh, what or about it? the phenomenon the of women of, all having their period at the together. same time? Yes, so, that's another one. Right, because, very good. Well, the, you know, people would say that that's true, and they found they lived in a dorm with all women, and they all uh -huh. menstruated at the same time. And then other people say, "Oh, that's ridiculous. It's not true at all. I grew up in a house of women, and we never did." And studies are in. Inclusive. Mm -hmm. Some say yes, it's a reality, and some say, mm -hmm. you know, not at all. It's more that people think that it's pheromones okay. that are actually pheromones. Oh, okay. really? Give well, we'll off. talk about that because there seems to be a call. We'll try. I, you know, I don't know if somebody is mature enough to handle this, but we'll give we'll it a try. Try. <laughs> I yeah, hope so. Talk, we'll see. All right, and uh, you are. You're on. Oops, no, they hung up already. They scared them off. Take too long. All right, how about this one? Uh, uh, you're on. Hello, you're on. Oh. Uh, turn it up. Hello? Yes. Hello? Oh, yes, there you go. Hi. 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 You have a question? Yes, I have a question. Great. Go ahead. Uh, yes, Go listen to your TV. I'd it's like on to, delay. Uh, I, uh, I'm watching your program, and I'm so excited that this book is out here. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm so excited that this book has been out. And I wondered if um, the author could talk about... It's a little disturbed. Yeah, you can't uh, watch the TV. I wondered the if the author could talk about these pills that are out there that stop periods altogether. Oh, sure, menstrual suppression drugs. That's a big thing that we talk about in the book. And thank you so much for asking. Right. 
Um, there are pillows on the market yes, now. I'm just curious if you know about the. Oh, sure, sure. What they actually are are their birth control pills. They're the same birth control pills that have been available since the early 60s. Apparently, back then, you could have taken pills straight through and never taken a break. Um, but the doctors and scientists at the time thought women would be too freaked out to not get a period at all, that it was too early to introduce. And now it's become sort of an advertiser's um, lifestyle choice message that why be inconvenienced by having a period anymore? Um, the thing that we bring up in the book is that nobody's done enough research to know what happens in the long term. You know, if somebody's taking these drugs and they're not getting any period at all for 10 or 15 years, how is that affecting you in the long term? Does that affect fertility? Does that affect heart disease? Does that affect, you know, an increase in a chance of cancer? Not enough time has been put into research for this because they've just became available. And the FDA doesn't require that much research. So we say to women who, who are interested to really, you know, think about, think about it. Um, we would never tell somebody yes or no or what's right or wrong, but this is something to really think about. A woman's body was made to work a certain way. And Especially really, if you want to have children. Right, and do you want to sort of mess with a system that's worked so well for so long right. by taking a drug to stop periods? Mm -hmm. Great question. Thank, Thank you, you very much for that question. All right. And it's a little confusing because there's a delay. Right, what they're so saying and listen, what we're saying. when you call in, you'll get this eight seconds from now, Please listen to the phone and not to the, uh, to to the, the TV. television. Yeah. Right. One thing I found that is so interesting about these menstrual suppression drugs is that they're advertised like mad. Now, if you called it birth control, they would not be showing during The Simpsons. Right. But when you call it <laughs> menstrual suppression, it becomes a whole entire different thing, even though it serves the same right. purpose. And my kids, who are 11 and 8, find some of these ads absolutely fascinating. Right. And so now there are young kids who are getting this message that periods are inconvenient, why be bothered, you don't have to ruin a yoga class, you don't have to ruin a date. It's full I circle this. to the old 19th century yeah, view of, of type of propaganda. This is dirty and right, exactly. Right. New style we of propaganda. We have somebody else on the way. You call her, you're on. Do you have anything to add to the conversation? Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Uh, is it, are you guys on me? It's hard to tell. Yes, you are on, you're on. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Hey, um, yeah, I'm, I have a question for the author. Uh, why did you put fish? Okay. Yeah, what? <laughs> I, 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 I think I they're having, having a giggle fit. They're having I know. Too hard <laughs> they <laughs> dared each other to call and ask a question, and, and now they can't get it out. That's That's there was a lot of background. You have to get it ready. Your question ready next time. All right, we have a couple of minutes. Uh, 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 oh, give the website yes, again. Yeah. Oh, sure. Please come and check out the website. It's www.flowthebook.com. Okay, and uh, and so the book is called Flow, and here it is. And uh, again, Alyssa, Alyssa uh, Stein. Uh, Stein, of course, uh, can you show us, I want you to show us some more great pictures in the last few minutes we have. Yeah, oh, because sure. the imagery in the book is the just beautiful. Is that was one of the things, and I have to give a big shout out to the publisher, St. Martin's, who said, what do you want this book to be? Right. And I thought, knowing my experience with advertising, oh, I love this. these are is it? this is actually an ad I'll campaign. I'll, I'll bring it up so folks um, can see it. It was by Modess, which was a pad manufacturer. Mm -hmm. And what they did, um, they were owned by Johnson and Johnson. And Mr. Johnson decided that he wanted to do as minimalist an ad campaign as possible, and he brought it all down to two words: Modess because. And then he hired Cecil Beaton. Um, to shoot these Diane Arbus oh, shot wow. some of these ads. Some he had Valencia and Oscar de la Renta create gowns, and they went to the most extravagant, beautiful locations. And very often, people would see these ads and not know what they were an ad for. I I remember so seeing them when I was a kid, yeah. right, thinking that it was for travel, mm -hmm. or if it was for textiles, mm -hmm. or for designers. That's fantastic. It was Modest, this, this designer. Mm -hmm. um, but oh no, the swimming issue. Oh, is the it? swimming. This is a really interesting thing too. Yes. Um, a lot of ads, especially for Tampax in the late 60s and 70s, featured women in white in water. Mm -hmm. And so the not very <laughs> subtle subtext of this is that women need to be cleansed, yep. which is you know, back to the Quran, back to the Bible, back to all these religious texts, that after a woman has her period, she has to be cleansed okay. in some way. And so these are ads that are sort of very obviously saying to somebody, you know, you need to be near water. You need to be clean right. when you Alyssa have your period. Stein, thank you so much for uh, joining us on thank Let Them so Talk. Thank you so much for having us. And uh, it was a great show, very interesting, really very great. informative. Thank really you. enjoyed it. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> folks should go to uh, flowthebook.com. That's it. To learn more about this book, Flow. And um, anything you'd like to leave us with in the last 10 seconds? This was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Having this conversation and helping other people have this conversation is what Flow is all about. Thank you very all much, right. Alyssa.